be back in the winter and it came true so here we are with more players and better players and we're starting off with honor mancha
word we hear a lot at Fort River is integration. And so I integrated sports and bankruptcy because they go together. And I love basketball. And this right here is our score for Slam Jam, which is featuring, as you can see in your program, basketballs and band. And so they have worked really hard to dribble and there's no shooting, so don't worry. But they're, um, they're, they've worked really hard to make sure that they are right in time, and I think you'll be enchanted with what they can do. And my only regret is that I'm not doing it with them. So this is Slam <laughs>
going to combine for our last piece. Some of the very fine string players have offered to join us for our last piece, and I'll tell you a little bit about it in a minute. But first, I want to um, tell Vivian's parents that I promised to give you a new program with Vivian's name on it, so sorry. Vivian's not in the program. I'll get you one tomorrow. I also wanted to thank Bob Castellano, who's back there, and Bob works with some of the rats. So thank you. Also, Danielle Phillips is in the back with Papasi Dunn, and she plays electric bass. And she plays I also wanted to thank Zoe Langsdale, who is sitting here in the alpha sax section, and Zoe is a junior. High school, and Zoe has come back since her sixth grade year in one sense or another, or in one form or another, or with one instrument or another, and helped me every year since then. So it has been wonderful to have her, and she flips it from the high school over to whatever school she's coming to, and makes probably the last uh, 12 minutes of rehearsal. But it's so nice to have her, and she gave up an evening of. Um, a concert filled week to come here and play with us. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. And someone else who can attest to how busy Zoe is is Dr. Laura Rexrock, who's back there. She's directing the middle school and high school band. So she's back there. And it's very nice to have support from one level to another. I support the concert. And I would like our fifth graders to stand up. Put up for my fifth graders stand up. Look at the future. <laughs> and of course, the sixth graders are over there. So sixth graders, would you stand? They have been here. that I would like to recognize because they all know what this is. These are theory sheets. This is my theory sheet checklist. And every student was um, asked to do as many as they possibly could. There was no penalty. There was no late fee. And there was no dunning of any kind. So this is all Fort River. We came in second between Wildwood and Crop Farm. And a little healthy competition never hurt anyone. There is one person who finished all of them, all 52, as you can see. This long stripe along the top. And she asked, I, I said, what would you like for a prize? Because you get a prize for finishing all 52. And she said, all I want is a piece of Antonio's pizza. So here it is for Livia Tomasi. <laughs> she finished all 52 sheets. And you know what? Teachers never forget. <laughs> So this last piece, as you can see from your program, is a very cool piece. We did it this afternoon to rave reviews from the younger set. And this is a piece that when I heard it on the radio the first, oh, I don't know, 20 times or so, I thought, you know, we could really do this piece. So I wrote it for this band and for Wildwood and for Rock Farm. And it underwent many revisions. A lot of them came from the students themselves, which is um, always great. I'll take any advice at any time. 
And so um, we had a great time. And then I said, well, hey, let's get some string players to play with us. So then I wrote string parts. And that happened all during February vacation. And the string parts were sometime in March. So it came together really well. And it was so much fun to do. So maybe I'll make some money for Fort River. Who knows? Well, I, I hope so. So enjoy this. This is Firework by Katy Perry. Do you ever feel like 